This is a very old graveyard, guys. Has graves at least going back to the early 1800s. And uh, I know there's an old one over here. Just not sure exactly where it is. There's somebody that was 1838 to 1902, but um, I'm pretty sure it goes back even further than that. I have to find the section where it has the oldest graves. There's mausoleums in here, and I'll take you guys to see some of those along with Goro. He sure does enjoy this. Looks like he was getting ready to lay down and roll. We'll go look at some of these uh, little mausoleums here. likes to smell that stuff because other dogs have peed there before. So here's one where they just blocked over the door. And you can see right here. That is old. I'm not for sure. I don't see any dates on there. That thing's been there quite a while. I don't know if they blocked all these over or not. There used to be like metal gates on the front and you know there were probably some problems with kids. Well there was a lot of problems down here uh, with kids destroying these and believe it or not guys this is this is just sick. Uh, there was a kid, I don't know if it was kids but probably assumed it, it was but they were coming down here and like Seaway over there they were going up on these hillsides and knocking all these old graves over and destroying them. And there's one gravestone that is a statue. It might still be in here broken, but they actually broke uh, the tombstone. And uh, it was so bad that they actually called in the FBI. So. Here's one where you can see inside. This is kind of cool. Born 1782, died 1864. There's one, born 1802, died 1867.
Wow. Man. Williams. Let's see if I can get you a look back in there. There's a lot of bats and things around here. <laughs> I know that for a fact, and this would probably be a perfect place for bats to live. I sure wouldn't want to walk in there right now. <laughs> See if I can get a little bit of light in there. Uh, should have brought a more powerful flashlight. I mean, there's a lot of people in this one. Come on, girl. Dead men tell no tales. There is one that they've covered over right there that used to be open. And I want to see, I want to make sure this is getting on camera right. So I got an iPhone app here where I can go in and see. And make sure that... I guess I got to kind of tip up a little bit there, but there's there's that one. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of new, newer to using the GoPro in this fashion, and I just want to make sure that I'm getting everything on screen right. <laughs> but There seems to be a big delay on the phone from what I'm videoing. But yeah, here's a really nice one. This one here. Now see, they've boarded this up. These used to all be open. And uh, they've, you know, had to do this because of vandalism. People throwing trash in there and... And different things like that. The world's pulling me all over the place. Hope you guys like this little tour. Thought it'd be kind of fun show you around and now where I'm at if yeah I don't think I mentioned it I am at the President William McKinley uh, graveyard he is in the much much larger tomb which I can show you guys here in a little bit but this is where President William McKinley is buried inside of a hundred foot tall dome. Okay, so here's one. Check out this old gate. I don't know how old this is, but um, at least probably a hundred years old and that's the that's I would imagine that's the original gate that was on there it's got some holes punctured in the windows back in there okay there's a 1903 so like I just told you um, these are at least a hundred years old. Wow, this is just, this is so cool. Just has steps going up, like you're going to a little house or something. So 
see if you can see in this one. Can't tell. Nope. Appears to be some type of door. There seems to be an iron door in there. And then this gate here on the outside. See here, this this guy's how this uh, concrete starting to, uh, you know, crumble and deteriorate and stuff. There's a lot of bad winters here, and takes its toll on stuff like this. It's a shame, you know. I hope somebody does restoration on these things, because you know eventually it'll probably all just crumble at some point. Here's Taylor, this is 32 up there. Okay, now we're coming up upon where I can show you, oh, this is a nice one here though. Let me stop here first. This is really nice. I don't want to take Goro close. This is a veteran grave, and I don't want to take Goro close to those flowers and stuff. I don't think he'll pee, but I want to make sure that he does not do that at all. But, um. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, there's a little plate there, U.S. Veteran, and there's some flowers out front here, and it's just awesome. Somebody's been here um, recently, maybe on the 4th of July, something like that, but somebody's been here and stopped by to visit. Come on, girl. Riding along. back of the William McKinley Monument. Goro sounds like a diesel truck, don't he? <laughs> you might think this uh you might think this Yukon has a diesel engine if you hear him panting for a while. <laughs> okay guys, uh, I don't want to leave Goro in the car for sure and um, I don't want to take him over there because he's just too tired right now. But there's the back of the McKinley Monument, in case you wanted to see it. Um, wish I could go around, but I can't go inside with Goro, and I definitely ain't leaving him in the car, so there you go, guys. There's a look at it. <laughs> 